do you think you're doing? Waving great big mysteries in my face. But they're not mysteries in your head. Oh no. They're not mysteries at all. I got a mystery. I got a mystery. And then you tell me what it means. Hmm. Is that a mystery? Hmm. Doesn't really seem to oh be there. Hmm. Strange that. It's almost like some things that people call mysteries and then claim to know knowledge of, they're perhaps not really mysteries at all. Or when they bring forward answers, the answers are simply things that they choose to believe as opposed to actual answers for what the mystery actually is. And through their limited research, they basically come to some quite peculiar conclusions, especially if they're part of a belief that happens to follow certain ridiculous or nonsensical ideas. It's almost like that's the case, isn't it? It's almost like when they say, I've got a mystery. Could this be aliens? And it's like... Could it not be? <laughs> is it plausible? That's the question. You know, you know the guy from Ancient Aliens? Could this be aliens? And it's like, well, could it be a more reasonable explanation? Could some of your facts be a bit off? Could some of the authors on the show, so-called experts, could they be wrong? I know I'm mentioning that old show, but still going, I think. Weird. <laughs> People still keep on watching. The History Channel still keeps on counting their money. Really cheap to make show. For the best part. So yeah, they love it. <laughs> Keep on watching, and then we might put on something about, I don't know, sharks or Nazis. <laughs> That's pretty much what the documentary channels are all about. You know, occasional mysteries to attention. Or, We're having a UFO night here on the Documentary Speciality Documentary Channel. Good. UFOs. Hmm. And you can have some people who seem to be, you know, more supported by the evidence than they actually are. And these people are actually people who are saying it must be aliens. Oh, right, okay. Thank you for your, you know, spades of objectivity. I really do appreciate that. Or, or maybe it comes Easter. Easter time. What should we talk about? Well, we are a majority Christian nation. After all, with a Christian heritage. So what shall we talk about? Why not talk about Jesus? The life of Jesus. The, uh, let's try and find the empty tomb of Jesus Christ. Send a washed-up reporter, who doesn't do reporting anymore, over to the Middle East to poke at some holes. You know, go to, I don't know, Bethlehem and Nazareth and listen to the locals and basically read a script. Pretty much it. We'll get people watching because they're Christian. It's like, but is that factually true? Hmm? Do you have your little mystery and it's like it's not a mystery at all? Well... Hard to say, isn't it, really? So many people, so many opinions, so many ideas. So little time. So little time to debunk so much bullshit. But, uh, yeah, many people out there choose to believe in many ridiculous, nonsensical ideas because they prefer to believe in the ridiculous and nonsensical. Good for them. Good for them. Not my cup of tea. I think I'll hand that little cup and saucer back to the lady and say I'd rather have a cup of coffee because that'll really get me energised. And that cup of coffee is the cup of coffee of reason. Yeah, because uh, it's all good and well saying, i got an idea, I've got this, I've got that, I can suggest this, suggest that. According to my belief, I can suggest this. According to my belief, I can suggest that. Oh, right, okay, you can do that, yeah. But what's better? What's better? Um, how about a great big cup of what does the fucking evidence say? And if you haven't got an answer, don't try and make one up. Hmm, that's a good idea, isn't it? <laughs>